Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, the Sinking City, obviously. And this is the second part of the Necronomicon DLC. Or at least the quest that I'm doing. So, we're going to carry on what we were doing before. We need to go straight forward behind here and into a house uh, because we've got a letter, which I will show you when, when we're near. We've got a whole bunch of letters from a hotel room uh, when I first started the game that I kind of ignored until now and then realised that they're actually um, part of the Necronomicon DLC. So, I spent the last episode getting a whole bunch. Okay, so we're here. And what the, which one is this? This is from behind. That's what she said. There we go. So, I can't help but turn around at noise after what I saw. Uh, Lilla, start again. I can't help but turn around at any noise after what I saw yesterday. I walked down Murdoch Avenue in Western Advent near Oak Street. I was hit with an excruciating migraine. My nose started to bleed and, and the visions came. I saw one man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind. Somehow I was both spectator and the sitting man. But no matter how I cried out, warnings or tried to move, it didn't work. It seems I lost consciousness when the killer hit the man's head and it took me several hours to get back to the hotel after that. Okay, so, uh, Murdoch Street, which is that way. So we need to find a house that's got a hobo sign on it, uh, but also a, um, one of them, that there, see that? Okay. Can't carry any more error. I'll tell you, what the thing about this quest is that we have got everything maxed out apart from them. So we're going to do that. Because there's always beasties in this, uh, in these quest things. Sweet. Okay. Nothing here. I don't think we're going to need that. We haven't so far, to be fair. Everything, whoopsie. Everything has been fairly easy to find. We'll go upstairs first. Thank you. Just in case. I love how they put the holes in the floor to, you know. Can't carry any more of them. That's fine. Ah, right, here we go. This is what we need. So, dear Clara, it's been years since uh, we last saw each other and I still sleep without looking at the picture you sent me of your family. I wish I had something to show, but pictures of this place would only bring you nightmares. What I was thinking when I left... Uh, what was I thinking when I left our hometown? I feel that I might be losing my sanity. Remember Dermont, my neighbour that works at the docks? I mentioned him in previous letters. He was always a good friend, but I don't know what happened. He started screaming in the middle of the night chanting about lost cities and saying strange words. I was never a religious man, but I don't know how to explain his condition through science. I see strange things each time I look out the window, and I don't know if they're really there, or is it just my mind playing with the mist? Somehow, the mad words of my friends start to make more sense. Each time I look at those wild and uncomprehens uncomprehensible shapes, I'll return home as soon as I have enough money to do so. I hope to survive all this. Your beloved brother, Victor. Now, cue the monsters. Yeah, big one too. God damn it. Whoa, whoa, what the, what the hell? That's him. And you. Oh, I've got another one. Awesome. Oh, he's going to set the crap out of me, isn't he? Yeah, he's literally right there. Get rid of this guy first. Thank you. Whoa! Nice shotgun for the guts normally does this one. Oh, damn it. Are you coming down as well? Nope, didn't think so. Oh, 
Wow. Oops, I was a bit too close to that one. Top top. What the hell are you spewing? Come on, quick before the other dude gets here. Thank you. Come on, beastie. Got him. Whew. Well, that scares the grain out of me every time. One of the reasons why I like this game, it has the potential to really screw you over. Four pistol rounds, that's fine. Okay, I think we're done here. We are done. Oh, damn it. I need to get back up. Thank you. Okay, so, the next one. Is literally just across the way. That way, right? Yeah, that way. Okay, so this one. Terrible fetus. Sounds lovely. There you go. After the vision, I shake in fear at the sound of a child's cry. It happened in Western Reed Heights in, on Washington Street. I passed uh, Evan Street and I was heading towards Oak Street, but saw it. The thing was running so fast, it didn't even understand what it was. It jumped from the window, and the vision struck me immediately. I saw a man, a doctor, hiding in a room. He was writing something with a shaky hand, uh, something like a last will. And then I saw the thing stalking him, a fetus on pointy legs, uh, with a little face full of evil and hatred. It's shrieking. I can't forget it. So, Washington Street. Let's just make sure we're on the right road. Yep. See here somewhere. Oh, there's that. Okay, we need to make some more of those. Oof, I've only got four left. Outrageous. Yeah, here we go. I think this is it. I don't see the other sign, though. All the merrier, thank you. Huh. Well, this looks like a hospital of sorts to me, so I think we're in, you know, kind of the right place. Can't get in there, though. Find, before I find what it is I'm here for, truthfully, I want to find any sort of ammo bits. There's no doubt a big nasty ass monster is going to come try and get me. Okay, so, what do we, oh, here we go, oops, let's just make sure we reload, and get any more if we can, one, fantastic, oops, one button, okay, my dearest comforts, 
My, my school is illegible, illegible scribbling. Forgive me, the shock of what I have delivered from the poor young woman's womb was affecting my nerves. Her guttural scream was still ringing my ears and her birth tragedy lurks near where I hide. Had my attendant not been attacked first, I would have certainly shared her fate. The wriggling abomination that erupted from the wave's belly leapt from her body and attached itself to the nurse's throat with a wet smacking sound. Slap. Pulled behind it, the taunt umbilical cord tore out of the placenta in an eruption of bright blood that soaked my gown. Stunned, I looked into the mother's bulging eyes as she convulsed and bit off her tongue between clenched grinding teeth. Falling backward in horror, I crawled behind a medical cabinet in the operating theatre. I can now hear the sloshing movement of the afterbirth sliding across the floor as the terrible infant silently approaches. I write this account of my surgical, uh, on my surgical mask with the study... Uh, with the sturdy pen you gifted me last year near Oakmont Commons. May it now serve faithfully as my only weapon against a deformed babe. Sincerely, Sebastian. Blimey. Well, there's the pen. So we're going to get, like, babies attacking me now, huh? Just in case. Oh, I don't hear any monster screams, so that's a... Oh wow, look at the... Look at the blood. And it went out. Are we sure there's nothing else here? So it escaped. And ran out into the world. Oh, damn. Okay, so, we've got that one. We've got these two. That one. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is one of those... No, okay. Okay, I think... Behind us, that way. The other side of the university, there's a... Hi. Should be coming up to it now. Yeah, straight in front. Awesome. What's that bloke that was standing over there? Extra, extra. All the news that's full on sale today only. Okay. Uh, so we need to go. Well, we could go here, pick these two up, and then go over there, pick that one up. All right, we'll go here first. I think that's a good plan. Okay. Straight down and to the right. Help a fella out. Sorry, mate. I'm probably as poor as you are. Mind you, I've got lots of bullets, so really, I'm a, basically a millionaire around here. Yep, perfect. Okay, so this one... Down there somewhere. Okay. Quit staring, newcomer. Get the drop out. Yeah, bite me. Okay, so. This one, 
uh, is what exactly? Call of the Ocean. That one. Tonight, the air forced me to leave the hotel. The putrid smell of rotting seaweed and fish made it hard to breathe. I remember a huge apple tree and thought it may be nicer there. Moreover, I was afraid that the hotel only would see my seizures. The visions occurred when I was a few blocks from the apple tree walking East Brown Street in Central Shells. Felt like I was drowning. I ran forward when I passed the street of St Michael's Church. I felt there was water surrounding me. Pressing, calling, I needed all my will to fight the desire. The desire to go to the mare and sink into the depths. So an apple tree. My apple tree. Are we on the right road? East Brown Street. Is it in there? Oh. Yeah, there. God damn it. I hope I'm barking up the right tree here, of course. No pun intended. Whoa. All right, let's vacate this very quick and we'll have another look at what we need to do. Okay, so. They can't get me, right? So, could be the cider mills. Let's have a look at what it says again. Uh, when I passed the street of St. Michael's Church, I felt the water surrounding me. So, St. Michael's Church. A church, yeah. Oh, it could be that. What a drop. Blimey. We're gonna have to be a little bit smart here, I think. Now nah, we can't get up there, damn it. Okay, uh, eh, a little bit confused. Oh, it could be down this bit, I suppose. It does say walk past. Okay. So a little churchy thing. Ah, here we go. This is the place. Take that, thank you very much. Big hole in the ground, of course. We're going to go up first, I think. Ah, oh, we'll go down. We were there. Sod it. Get the feeling there's not going to be much down there, though. Yeah, as I suspected. Not an awful lot. Okay, back up. Oh, this place is a mess. What the hell is that? There's a massive, massive octopus on the ground. That is awesome. Okay, uh, let's just make sure we're fully loaded. We're all right. Let's see what it says. 
My cherished flock, K, I believe, has forsaken us, assuming, of course, any such being exists. Are we to die frightened? Are we to die mad? Death would be merciful indeed in the face of this second flood. There will be no rainbow to blossom over the corpses. The sea beckons me in a way scripture never has, and as, uh, as she has always done since beasts who would be men oozed from the herb briny womb. I will go to seek her soon and draw her salted laden baptismal breath onto my lungs, uh, into my lungs, and she may forgive us for our hubris. Your shepherd, Reverend Zachariah James Barker. Damn, he's cuckoo. Getting out of here before the muscles come. Okay, so that's that one. So we're almost done. So we need to go up and left. Well, at least that funny bug has finished. Kind of right there, self. Yes, I had to really crane my neck to. Uh, Okay, so right, let's read what it says. Okay, so it says, uh, what is this one? Mirrors, mirrors, that one. I'm afraid someone stalks me. It started when I visited Western Advent and had a vision of the intersection of Purity Road and Oak Street. That one. Okay. I saw mirrors full of reflections and someone trapped, trying in vain to escape. His expression of fear and panic shook me deeply. After that, a very tall and skinny man started following me in the distance. What troubles me is that I see him in reflections, but have never caught a straight view of the stalker. I'm sure the police will mock me if I come asking for protection. It seems it is time to buy a good, trustworthy gun and start to practice. So wherever it is, it's here. Could be that over there. Looking likely, this is the place. Yep, this is the place. Okie dokie. Wow. Okay, monsters already. Come on, there you come. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, we've got a thingy point, haven't we? And actually what I am going to do is a little bit of healing. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Let's just quickly make up another one of them. Very expensive they are actually. Those shotgun shells. Every little sod. Thank you ever so much. Oof, okay. Okay, so it says, the man in the mirror, he's gone. Ever since this infernal flood began, I kept seeing him in the mirror, the man who stole my reflection. He wore my skin like a suit, but there was nothing human beneath it. I knew I was on the other side and was looking straight at me. I covered every mirror in the house, 
but in vain I could still see him in the window panes, in every puddle, even in other people's eyes. The neighbours started to look at me strangely. I couldn't sleep, I saw his face in nightmares, and when I woke up I heard whispers coming from the looking glass. But now he's gone. I uncovered the mirror to smash it to pieces, and he's gone. There's nothing in reflection at all, but I feel like I'm not alone. Get out, leave now. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here, is there? Is there an upstairs? Yes, there is. Just have a quick look see. Oh, lucky Git's got a snook table in here. Thank you, I'll have that. Awesome sauce. Okay. One more to go, and then we find out whether this was all worth it. Uh, okay, so we need to go... Right behind us. That way. And at the end of this road, there's a fast travel point. Somewhere. Yeah, literally right in front of us. Come on, you can do it. Top, top. That was a dude with the awesome spear again. Oh, uh, spear. Staff, rather. Know your sticks, Craig. Okay. So, the last one we need... So, we've done that one. Yeah, that's the last one. Awesome. Necronomicon DLC. There's nothing necronomicon y about this as of yet. Okay. Straightforward. Okay, so this one. Totally going to get that bin. There's nothing in it. Awesome. Okay, so. We are here. And what it says is. Today I feel asleep on the street. I'm sure it connected my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. It happened in Coverside near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes give me a drink and whisper something. Immediately after that I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying on the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole from me. Okay, so it's here somewhere. Bingo. And it's got the sign. Yep, we're in the right place. This is the last one. And we get a free first aid kit. Oops, wrong button. Okie dokie. Can't carry any more of them, that's fine. They build their houses the same in this place. There is no downstairs, which actually I like. Oh 
man. Oh, sis. Oh, big, big, good stuff. Spam by his killer guy. Oh, I died. What the hell? Well, that sucked. I think it's time to get a bigger gun out, don't you? I can't wait to get the rifle. Chop, chop. Oak Mount keeps its mouth shut. No, they don't. They slag off everybody. Okay. Try that again, shall we? Where is it? That way. Corner. Oh, serious? Cute. There's uh, that one, is it? Get down. Thank you. Goodbye. Any other suckers around here? No, so it's just that door. You coming in or do I have to get you? I have to get you. Okay, I got it. Grab that. I think that's all of them, which is great. Oh, must be upstairs. Okay, let's have a quick look around. Oh, wait, there's a woman here. Hello. Please don't get up and shoot me. I don't want to kill you. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, he's dead. All right. So, the recipe was left to me by my grandmother, and when Lily was little, I used it quite often. A couple of drops in her milk and slept sweetly all night. My husband and I finally had a little time for each other. Of course, that was long ago, and since then, I haven't noticed Grandma's sleeping elixir. I haven't needed, rather. But now everything's changed. It was two days ago, but Bill barricaded the window because we cannot bear to see the corpses on the street. We're locked in and we're out of food. The worst of the nights, impossible to sleep because of the sequels, of, uh, the squeals of death and other terrible sounds. We should flee, but there's no place to go. I'm afraid as fate draws near, we'll end up like the bakers. I don't want this for my little Lily. While my husband barred the entrance, I made my grandmother's tea. Lily drank her dose and went to bed and Bill's getting faint too. It's time for me to join them. Good night, Oakmount. Okay. So we've got them all. And that was it. I find that very hard to believe that that was just that was just it. I 
got two knowledge points. More damage with a shotgun. And we'll take the falling damage. Oh, I have to say, if that was it, that was quite disappointing. I don't quite know what to make of that, truthfully. But still... Okay, we need to go... There, so down and round. So literally, the Necronomicon DLC is just running around the street picking up letters. That can't be it, surely. I'm going to research that while I'm off screen just to make sure, but that was quite disappointing. Oops. Now, we are going to finish off this quest, and we're going to go and see Graham. Graham is there, so we need to go there. Okay, cool. Either that or we go to the smuggler's place. And where we need to go is around the other side of here. I'll go and have a chat with Graham. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but... What you making, kid? Yeah, we got all this before. And Graham was over this way. There you go. Tell me why you tried to kill your father. What? What are you talking about? I know all about your plan. I have proof. Just level with me. I... I knew you weren't just a worker. Look, I'm not proud of what I did. He's my father. But he was a terrible, terrible man. Crime has always been my family's business. I want to change that. I want to help people. But he will never stand for it. So that's how it is. My father sent you here. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. I'm Charles Reed. I can change this city, Mr. Reed. But to do that, I must be the head of the Carpenter family. I need to have that influence. You I'll committed pay murder, you if you need. But please, listen to your conscience. Brutus will not change. He harms so many, he must die. Uh. Now there's a choice. Um... I'll think about your proposal. Be wise, Mr. Reed. Oakmont's future depends on your decision. Goodbye. Okay, uh, so... So 
So the evidence has been updated. Let's have a look. We didn't agree no such thing. Okay, let's go talk to Brutus. Tough choice. Graham does seem to be doing stuff, and Brutus, I've only got his word. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough choice. And we need to go... here. Yeah, tough choice. Graham really is helping the city. And I don't want to have to kill everybody in that room. So I'm going to go and ask him. Uh, I need to go that way, I think. Yeah, straight down. Follow the yellow question mark. Or magnifying glass. You know, either one. Excuse me. Uh, upstairs. Okay. I know who's behind the attempt on your life, Mr. Carpenter. And? Don't make me wait, kid. First, I want to know what your plans are for when you resume as head of the family. Good question. Everything will go back to how it was before. Tradition exists for a reason, kid. Besides, it's none of your damn business. Yeah. You know, you'd... I met your son. I think it's time for a change in leadership. <laughs> I should have been better prepared for that, really. But <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> but he's already said everything goes back to the way it was before. So it's time for him to die. You have traced the recent events of Master Seri, Master to the city of Oakbound. Now you need to find the cause or sort of come to it yourself. Okay. <laughs> this time, oops, we're going to... We've got 30 bullets to kill everybody. And we're going to take some of that because we're going to need it. Right, will he talk or will he fire? Oh, blimey. Hello. Ow. Hi. Got him. Wow, that was special. I guess we go back to Graham. I've just committed mass murder. But, you know. What does the case log say? I must tell Graham his father's dead. Yep, fine.
but I do believe it will be good for the city. And, you know, that's the thing. Whoops. That is the thing. The right thing to do, but the wrong way of doing it, in my opinion. But, you know, you only get given what the game gives you. I probably would have been told to kill Graham, truthfully. I was hoping to climb over the wall there, but nope. Brutus is dead. Your father is dead, Mr. Carpenter. You're the head of the family now. This brings me no joy. But thank you. You made the right choice. A noble choice, despite what it entailed. I had to kill my father twice. I had to ask you to stain your hands, too. But the guilt isn't yours. I take the blame entirely. Doesn't make it's me feel better, mate. It's all right, Mr. Carpenter. Now, will you help me? Of course I will. I'm in your debt. Thank you once again. Goodbye. Okay. So. Fish market. Time to go. That was unfortunate, but I would have had to kill all these people anyway. So it was kill all them or kill all... Yeah, kill the old bastard. He's dead. So, you know, can't change that now. I've killed a lot of people in this game so far, man. Like, seriously, a lot of people. Mass murderer, man. Mass murderer. Right, fish market. There. Damn. Like, seriously. Damn. That was a lot of people. I'm surprised my sanity didn't go down. Your vote is your choice. Choose wisely. Is that him? Nope. Where is he? Where the hell's he gone? Is he downstairs, maybe? Oh, this used to you be an okay place to live. That price. I'd much rather pay more, thank you very much. There he is. It's done, Fred. The carpenters will be getting in touch soon. Now. Do you have something for me? Oh, perfect. All right. Listen up. I've arranged a meeting with a certain high-ranking member of the EOD. His name is Ebenote Blackwood. Do we know him or not? Blackwood, huh? Yeah, I may have run into him once or twice. If the Order knows something, it's a good bet that Ebenote does, too. If they have your professor, he knows where she's being kept. I'll give you the address of the meeting place. He'll be expecting me, not you. So keep your wits about you. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Fred. Good luck and safe travels. Thanks. I need it. Oh, we got the rifle.
Okay. Can't believe we got the rifle, that's amazing. And there's the fast travel. Awesome. Right, this house of his. Uh, so, Central Reed Heights, flooded office, Sam Reed Street, between Innsmouth Road. Innsmouth Road. There's Innsmouth. So where's Sam Reed Street? Here we are. And Oak Street. Here. Okay. Well, that sucked. Damn, that sucked. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. We'll continue with this on the next episode and go and meet and finally find the uh, doctor. We're getting very far in this now, so. I doubt it's going to be all that long. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Lots more to come. A few other things in the pipeline as well. Do check out my, uh, my updates recently. It tells you what I've got coming in over the next few months, a year even. And hit the like button. I appreciate it. Comments are welcome as well. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.